How long has this been a reserve? The RSPB purchased this uh, reserve in about 1973. So before that, it was used uh, as a tank firing range. But we bought it in the 70s because we had a rare breeding bird here, the Montague's Harrier, and there's only a handful of pairs in the country. However, as soon as we bought it, they stopped breeding, ironically. <laughs> um, but in the end, because of where we're situated, it gave us an opportunity to do a lot of habitat improvement works for other key species, such as bittern and marsh harrier and bearded tit. Oh, brilliant. I'm finding it really easy to get around with all this boardwalk. Have you designed that specially for, for getting people out with wheelchairs? Yes, so where we can on our reserves, we try and make them as accessible for everybody. So whenever we put new paths in or new boardwalk, we try and encompass a range of people. So this time of year, we start doing a lot of the habitat work. So we've started cutting the vegetation on the islands out there um, because the breeders, breeding birds don't like it when it's vegetated. And then we bring the water levels up in the winter and flood it all out, sort of kill some of the vegetation. So we do a bit of that, but then I've also got an annual report to write. So <laughs> Question then, which do you prefer to do? <laughs> so Lizzie, what can I see out here now? So a lot of the ducks that are closest to us are teal. And we also have an avocet. On the island there's some widgeon and they graze grass. We've also got a cacophony of grey lags making all the rackets. And then the brick pits are from World War II. It's been a fabulous afternoon. Oh, I really good. enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Some great places to stay in the area are Church Farm Barns and Park House Hotel.